handmade paper crafted to a centuries-old recipe. This piece of handicraft is the work of Gangolf Ulbricht. In his Berlin workshop, Ulbricht casts an expert eye over paper damaged in the fire at the Anna Amalia Library in Weimar. The blaze claimed more than 100,000 literary works from across the centuries. Restoring the books to their original condition requires handmade paper crafted to historical specifications. And that's where Ulbricht comes in. An authority on paper and cellulose, he's acquired more than 30 years' experience in the ancient trade of making paper by hand. This is paper that was specially developed for the restoration of books damaged in the fire at the Anna Amalia Library in Weimar. The colors were made to match the originals. They were made using the relevant combination of natural pigments. Regardless of the type of paper in question, Ulbricht knows the secrets of its composition. Besides writing paper, he also makes custom-produced pages for artists, or the lightest paper in the world for the restoration of old books. In keeping with a 500-year-old tradition, the raw materials are put into a special mixer which works them into a pulp. In bygone days, paper was not made from wood, but from cotton, flax, linen, hemp, or sometimes even from bamboo. But the most frequent component was old rags from worn-out cotton clothing torn into little pieces. Paper has quality characteristics. I always say that paper has a certain character. It's made up of fibers from the processing and the production. Grasp, sound, density, surface, transparency, pressure characteristics, folding characteristics, and so on, are the things that make paper what it is. In 2001, Ulbricht was commissioned to restore a decorative border from the Paretz Palace in Brandenburg. The original vine leaf border in King Friedrich Wilhelm III's study was beyond repair, so the paper expert created a replica using historical patterns. The actual creation process is the most important thing when it comes to handmade paper. Using a sieve frame, Ulbricht makes each sheet individually, and once they're formed, they have to be pressed and dried. It's a long process, which explains why paper was so expensive well into the 19th century. These days, few people still command this dying art. When I'm making paper, I have to be careful that every sheet is consistent, which means always taking the same amount of fibers and checking that right and left, top and bottom, are even. The fibers are different, and I have to remember how I made it and sometimes even tailor my movements to the paper. But not everything the paper expert makes harks back to the past. For the Canadian Embassy in Berlin, Ulbricht made a room divider, 10 meters long and three and a half meters high. The challenge was to make it so that it could be drawn without creasing, quite literally a tall order, but the very kind that excites the paper craftsman. It's called making paper manually. I can make it, and I can choose everything from the raw materials to the processing to the end product. And the quality is palpable and visual, and that's what makes the difference. The first restored books from the Anna Amalia Library in Weimar are finished. And by 2015, thanks to Gangolf Ulbricht, a large number of the damaged books will be back on the library shelves. <laughs>